Hello, I'm Kiefer. And I'm Laura. Seven years ago, when Laura and I first met in Seattle, Washington, we talked about many different things. One of those things was international adoption. Today, Laura and I have been blessed with four beautiful children, Callista, Bridget, Tennyson, and Penelope. Back in February, we learned of a nonprofit organization called Project 143. It's an orphan hosting program that brings children from Ukraine, Latvia, and China into the homes of Americans to allow them to be known, to experience life in a fully functioning family, to learn English, and to just have a wonderful summer vacation for a period of between four and eight weeks. We were very intrigued by the idea and we signed up to view the photo listing, viewing hundreds of children. But it was the photos of two children that really stuck out to us. The first was of a beautiful young lady who we'll, no, we'll name E, and also of her brother, we'll call A. We just fell in love with them. We felt so strongly about these two that not only did we sign up to host them, but we also decided to pursue their adoption. Two and a half years ago, Laura established Team Tiny Tot an organization with the sole purpose of helping us fundraise the money necessary to accomplish the international adoption process. Thus far, that organization has helped us raise $11,000 thanks to your kindness and your contributions. It has also brought us six months into the adoption process. It's helped us pay for everything up until now. It's helped us with hosting, but also with our home study and onto our placement agency fees and our dossier. So where we're at now is our dossier is complete. It is in our children's country. It has been translated. We are just waiting for the US government to approve us for international adoption. And we just got word a few days ago that we have been approved and that that letter is being sent in the mail. We're anticipating in the next few weeks getting our official referral for these kids and getting our travel dates. The travel dates will most likely put us going to Europe to pick them up in the next six to eight weeks. International adoption is very expensive and the $11,000 we've raised thus far carried us to this point. Now we're entering the next phase of our fundraising effort and we're asking that you help us raise an additional $15,000 to help us offset the, the cost of international travel, the cost of our stay in Europe for three and a half weeks. That's a requirement for for this, for this adoption process. We're asking you to open up your hearts and your, and your wallets and donate to Team Tiny Tot. So why donate to us? <clears throat> Most likely if you're watching this video, you are a friend or a family or a friend of a friend and you know that we are real people, that these two children do exist and you know our story <clears throat> and that it's real and that these children really are orphans and that they do need a family of their own. If there was ever a time for you to donate to our cause, the time is now. We really, really need your help as travel is coming up soon and we are about to get hit with a majority of our expenses in country. So we would be so appreciative and we are so appreciative of everyone who has donated thus far. But if you could find it in your heart to donate to our cause, to help E and A have a family of their own, Please share this video with your friends uh, on Facebook, on your Twitter feeds, through email, through Google Plus, uh, and get the word out and help us raise this money. We're so grateful for those that have already contributed to our cause, and we thank you for your help and your prayers. At the end of this video, there will be a link for you to click that will take you directly to our donation site. Please donate today and share this video after you've donated. Thank you so much. Thanks and everybody. Please follow our journey by going to our website at www.teamtinytot.com. Follow our blog as I will continually update it as we progress in our journey. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Back in February, we... <laughs> February is a hard month to say. February. 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 I keep wanting to say February. I keep trying to say it phonetically, but... February. 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 February.
February. February. I need to say mm. Feb. I want to say, I'll just have to say. <laughs> February. 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 Why couldn't it be a different month? Why don't you say February? Why can't February? February. February. Well. Until we get February. 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 February